the Son of God came to atone for our sins, God in the flesh, then, then, then you believe in love. You believe love is the most important thing on this earth today. For it is God, our Father, who is that love. And that love can come from anybody in anywhere. We all have the Holy Spirit in us. Do we want to deny it? Or do we want to embrace it? Faith. Faith in this promise. And this promise was, we have eternal life. Put our faith in that. And if we believe that, we need to be loving each other because that's pleasing to God. That's, all, that's the obedience of the commandments. That we trust Him with all our hearts that He will deliver us and has great things in store for us and His promises. And while we're waiting, we're going to live in love so an other unbeliever can see the love God has for the earth through Jesus Christ, by the way we love them, because when we were dead without Christ, we were just like them, living in anger and frustration, greed, putting things above another person's, you know, feelings, heart, and no compassion. But when we come to Christ, He, he slowly pulls away that greed. Slowly, he's going to pull off all that stuff in your sin, in piece by piece. And one day you'll come to where I don't sin makes me sick. But, but I love you and I see the need for, for Jesus Christ to, to be in your life. So we can all live in, in love. True fellowship will never come unless we actually care about who we're talking to. We care about your life. We care about your family. We care about what's happening in your life. And the same for you. And the same for us. And the same for all. You know? God loves the whole world and wants all the world to, to live through Jesus Christ. Do, do we love the whole world? Do we love each other? As God has loved, whether the world accepts it or not, we in our minds, in our hearts, got to have the heart of God, have the heart of Jesus Christ as they're pounding Him to the cross. Forgive them, Father. They don't know what they're doing. Father, forgive them. That that's the love of God for us, sinning men. As an example of this huge love He has for us so that we may live to be and want to be like our Father. And our Father is Jesus Christ. It's His seed that lives in us, that gives us that life. God's Word was life. He spoke and everything came to be. That word that spoke life is Jesus Christ. And it is love. It is love for, for humanity. It is love for creation. It is love for everything that exists. And we too should embrace that love. We don't need nothing in return. We don't need nothing in, in, to show gratitude for our love. Because that is God. It's the love of God. It's charity. It is a free gift. He freely gave us uh, uh, salvation as we were killing Him. Shouldn't we too freely give uh, of ourselves? That that's the love of God. That, that's the confidence that you can have to say, I will never die 
Because my faith is in the coming of our Lord. Who is going to deliver me from that death. Because on that day, the devil can never touch me again. I'll be made new. And I'll be like our Lord and Christ, like the angels. Where there's no pain, there's no death. And there's no hunger. There's no thirst. It's only love. Now let's put our faith in love. Jesus says it's by your love who you will be saved because it is that love is God. And we can see him because we have love in our hearts. We all do. You know, it's sad that many times Christians you disagree on doctrine or, or a little word or something, man, they just go right for your throat in your eternal life. And boy, you're the son of the devil, you know, and go right to attack you. And that's not God. That's not God. Let's stop helping the devil. He's already lost. He ain't going to heaven. He's already lost the battle. And all his children have lost because they won't rise when they die. They will die. But us, we will never die because we will see our Lord and our Christ coming in the clouds to deliver us. Put your faith in God and trust. You know, we don't need to, to, to overwhelm ourselves with stuff and money and greed. It only leads you down paths of sin. It's only trying to, 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 to fulfill the, the desires of sinful flesh, of sinful man. Put it away. Stop sinning. That, that's the goal of God, that, that, that would, no man would sin anymore. And that, that's the atonement of Jesus Christ. That is our belief in our Lord. That is the need for, for Jesus. That is why. He's the only way to heaven. Because that's the love God has for humanity. And it's truth. And the truth lives in us. Because we already love our children, our families. Just don't love the world and the things of the world. But love the people and the spirit that lives in them. You know, we got to test the spirit. And it's through our love. If you, if you give love to someone and they're just so violent towards you, remember, it is they're jealous of what Jesus Christ did for you. And they just don't understand that that love that's there in you is available to them. They just need to know how much God loves them. We all need to know it. You know, and that's the thing. It's like we must be born again. You must be born of both water and the spirit. You know? And get baptized. It is putting your faith towards the word of God, towards the promise. If you do these things, if you practice these things, seek him out, want to know who he is, you will be blessed. And you will see the glory of our God. You know, and that's the thing with the Holy Spirit of God. You know, yeah, we have the spirit of truth in us, but it's when our faith in God and our love come together and melt. Now we have the Holy Spirit of God. Now we have Jesus in us and, and we in Him. And if He is in us and we are in Him, then we are in God and God is in us. For God is love. And that love in you is God, our Father. <laughs> the more we love, the more God is there. And the more faith we have, 
the more love is there. And the more love we have and the more faith we have, the more power comes. And to resurrect your life and to see the value of that human being in God's heart. In God's heart. They have value in His heart. And when we can see the value they have, the things in this world no longer have dominion over our lives. But the love of God has dominion over our lives, which gives us the confidence on that day, on our last day, to know in the twinkling of an eye, Jesus Christ will be right there to deliver you from this world, the devil, and all it has to offer. Remember, God is love for everyone, you know, and it's through the blood of Jesus Christ. By his stripes we were healed. We have been healed. And I understand, maybe, maybe you have not been faithful and there's many people that aren't faithful, but, but He is faithful. We are of this world and He is above the world. He's above the heavens and the earth. His word is greater than all. And His word is, you have eternal life. And you are children of God. And the devil is a liar. It has no more power over us. He's just tricking us, just deceiving us to, to help him in his deeds that God has already won. Stop helping him. He, he's a loser and a liar and has no power over our lives. For when we die, our spirits will rise into heaven. For we are children of the Most High. And our love proves his word is truth. God proved his word was truth by raising him from the dead. For no death had no power over him. The devil has no power over him. And that's our insurance. That's our promise. That, that, that's who we're looking forward to. The devil has no power. You know, when you come to the perfect spot and, and with no fear, you're perfect with God. In perfect relation with God. When I fear nothing, no man, no thing. You can take my home, you can take my life. You can strap me to the bomb. I could be the last Christian on earth, but you will not take my faith in God who loves me with all his heart, might, and soul. Because I love him with all my might, heart, and soul. And we will sing and we will praise God every day forevermore. Remember, God is our guide and he will be with us every day to the very end of time. Put your faith in that. God is our guide and he'll be with us every day to the end of time. Glory be to God. Jesus Christ is alive. See you next time.